The asylum seeker detention mess has become extremely damaging for the Albanese Labor government. The fact it comes just as we're dealing with a dozen asylum seekers dropped on the Kimberley coast by a people smuggling boat just adds to the sense of border security chaos and weakness. Isn't this just the sort of weakness we all feared from a Labor Greens government? How can a Labor Greens government be tough on illegal people smuggling operations when all the measures that have defeated them in the past were opposed by Labor and the Greens for more than two decades? At the moment, we have 141 criminals loose in the community. Some refuse to wear ankle bracelets and one was missing until an announcement late today that he's been tracked down. But the government won't say what offences he's been convicted of in the past. Labor now promises to put up legislation to fix this, at least partly, by bringing in preventative detention. And they promise our politicians won't leave Canberra till they get the new laws passed. I support preventative Member detention, Warner, no? and that is why I will be bringing a proposal back to the parliament. Now, we will be able to move through this quite quickly, Speaker, if Order. we get the support and the cooperation of the opposition. But what have we seen since this decision was made? We have seen three weeks of the most shameless politics I have virtually ever seen played in this parliament. This dilemma stems from the High Court ruling in the case about the Rohingya child sex offender and refugee who was given the case name NZYQ. He can't return to Burma and now he's been set free here. Incredibly, the other angle of Labor's parliamentary response is to try to blame this mess on the opposition. If NZYQ had have been deported instead of being granted permission to apply for a visa by the minister, by the person who was the minister at the time, the leader of the opposition, none of this would have occurred. None of this would have occurred. None of this would have occurred. That just won't cut it. The facts don't bear that out. Labor's real incompetence on this matter has been exposed by the High Court's reasoning released yesterday. It reveals that back in May, the government agreed there was no prospect for NZYQ to be removed from this country. In other words, they accepted that he faced permanent detention in Australia, the government giving up a key point in the case. And the fact that this was a mistake is borne out by another key fact we now know, that from late August this year, after that concession, the government was privately trying to have this refugee accepted by other countries. So they were trying to remove someone they had already told the High Court could not be removed. What a shambles. As a result, we've got criminal non-citizens in the community. And the rest of us are left to wonder how many of these people are dangerous? How many should be back in detention or in jail to keep the community safe? We just don't know. And it sounds like the government doesn't know either. They are weak and incompetent on, on this stuff and, and it could prove disastrous. Meanwhile, there are reports the latest asylum seeker arrivals paid $8,000 each to be dropped on our shores, confirming that people smugglers in Indonesia are firing up again. Labor likes to portray Peter Dutton as the unelectable hard man of politics. But when there are such signs of weakness from Labor on such critical issues, maybe it's a hard man that the country needs.